Hello, good day. Uh, it's a pleasure at, uh, uh, chatting or training you again yet on another advanced AI prompt for academic research or academic writing. Today, uh, we are going to train you on how to add citations. That's academic citation, in-text citations and references in your research paper using ChatGPT, the correct way. You know, we have several other ways, but I told you earlier uh, in other of our videos that on my word I will deal with advanced programmatic prompts. We don't deal, we don't just deal with the generic prompts that you are used to or you are being taught to use. So we delve in immediately. Why add in-text citations and references in your uh, research work? As you can see here, you can see these are, the, these are the references, as you can see. In this current work, I'm doing this a PhD work. And then uh, you can see here, I intentionally uh, made the in-text citation bold as you can see here i use apa 7th edition you can see bread weight okay you can see all that you can see all that and all that so those are in-text citations like what you can see here and what i showed you below was Actually, it's not supposed to be bold, but I'm just bolding it so that it could be obvious for you to see more. Uh, so, why do we need to add in-text citations and references in our academic writing? Uh, one is to ensure academic integrity. Adding proper in-text citation prevents plagiarism by giving credit to the original author and the sources you are actually ad ad adopting from or copying from. You understand? So secondly, it demonstrates depth of your research. It demonstrates how deep, how far you've gone to do this research. Three, it strengthens the validity of your argument within your research, thus making your academic work more persuasive and scholarly. So number four is uh, it builds academic credibility and trust among your peers, among the academic uh, uh, environments, among the academic institution and uh, framework, it actually makes your work more credible and trusted. Finally, uh, adding in-text citations and reference is a way to fulfill your institutional and journal requirements. If you don't add them, uh, it therefore means they are not gonna pass you. You know, you know what that means? It will look as if you are doing something else. So please, if you have not uh, subscribed to this channel, we are basically concentrating on AI assistant for academic journey. AI assistant for your academic journey. It, it, we are going to be chunking out so many other videos, and it's not just the generic videos you find online. These are programmatic AI prompt engineering. We are teaching you step by step. So, five common problems that warrant using ChatGPT for citations and reference. You can actually cite it, it, it uh, manually, but you know the reason for AI. AI is not to take away your, your ingenuity. It's not to take away your expertise. It's just to help expedite action. It's to help you fasten up your progress. It's also to help you in areas where you are having deficiency. It's not in any way to encourage academic uh, dis dishonesty. So five common problems that warrants using ChatGPT for citations and references. Number one is uh, a research paper contains wrong citations and references. If your research paper contains wrong citations and references, it, it do happen. And uh, most times uh, these uh, wrong citations and references are being spotted out by your supervisor. So you may need to identify and fix incorrect citations misattributions and outdated references using ChatGPT prompt. Now, second, academic writing has no in-text citations at all. Many students or even writers complete an, an entire academic write-up without citing one uh, authoritative resource. 
Are you getting me? Or source, sorry. Uh, which can be, it, this can easily uh, be seen as plagiarism. Plagiarism, who gave you the authority to state what you are stating? Uh, there must have been an authority in that field or in your field of learning that must have actually carried out that research properly and ensured that whatever you read somewhere and you are stating is correct. But you need to give him reference properly. I get in. If not so, you can be flagged for plagiarism. So that's it. Academic writing has no in-text citations at all. And uh, three, uh, mixing citation styles accidentally. You know, we have different citation styles like the APA, the MLA, the Chicago style, and different other styles. Now, most students are not really learned in this aspect of uh, uh, styling uh, uh, citations and references, so they mix, intermix them all. So the other reason why you need to use ChatGPT or these ChatGPT prompts we are giving to you is uh, to ensure that uh, you, it, your citation style actually sync, it is actually uh, is actually same all around the entire project. You understand? A document might include APA, MLA, as I said. References, uh, uh, that is, it, it all mix up together, which reduces academic credibility. You wouldn't want to be in such scenario. So four, source changes during revision. Source changes during the revision. When you update your content or change sources, the references and citations need to be updated to reflect. You know, there's how you write and then uh, you decide to change source. You, can, you could change source in one particular area or in your reference. It needs to reflect in almost the entire pages you have done in text citations for such uh, reference you use, I get in. So that's another reason. That's the five different reasons, or call it four, sorry, four different reasons why you need to use ChatGPT. There are many other more reasons uh, for your references. So now uh, we are going to guide you step by step process on how to go about this. On a general, let's take this, on a general, uh, the step by step process on creating ChatGPT prompts for correct in-text citations and references in your academic work. <clears throat> you need to follow this step, but we are going to give you our own step. This is the generic step I'm giving you now. We have our own uh, uh, prompt. Uh, we call it programmatic prompt that we are using. Always mark that word, programmatic prompt that we are using. And uh, we are using it for different clients, and it's been working with uh, done in text citations and uh, references for our entire book. We've done in text citations and references for different research uh, papers for different people even at the PhD level and different uh, academic write-ups and things like that. So we also carry out such service. As you see, if you have not subscribed to our channel, subscribe. If you have anything, any problem that has to do with using AI to expedite actions or to enhance your academic uh, progress, you will let us know. We are here to help you. We are here to help you. This is not just making video. We are experts in this, and we've been in this for over 15 years. So the first step here is to provide your content. You to copy your content. You shouldn't copy the entire your entire research work. Uh, specifically, copy either a paragraph or maybe a, a, a page uh, so that it will be easy for the AI to work with. You can also work with uh, DeepSeek. It's also a good source. Uh, I'll talk about the, their difference. Uh, they are the difference academically I've observed uh, between DeepSeek and ChatGPT. That will be much later. So provide your content. Paste it on ChatGPT. Don't click Enter yet. Now specify underneath the content. Specify your citation style, your referencing style. Is it MLA, Chicago, Harvard, APA, 7th edition? You need to specify it. So you are virtually telling ChatGPT, uh, please uh, uh, infuse or create a referencing style based on APA 7th edition. Okay, so number three, 
mention your sources if you have any. If you don't have any, simply ask it to, uh, to get you sources from credible sources, to get you references, sorry, from credible sources. Now, number four, request in-text citation. Ask ChatGPT to insert in-text citation into your paragraph using the given style you adopted earlier. Now, uh, five, finally, generate referencing list. Request a proper formatted referencing list or bibliography, if you like, uh, based on the in-text citations, based on the in-text citations used above. So th this is just a generic guide for you to create a uh, prompt that may work for you. So we move to the next uh, level. Uh, I'll show you ours. This is our own uh, programmatic uh, uh, ChatGPT prompt for in-text citations and references in your academic work, as you can see. The first one there is add APA. We stated the referencing style APA 7th edition in text citations to the provided content without altering any original text. Now, please, <coughs> let me tell you what we did here. We are actually working with an existing document or existing academic writing or academic paper. So that's why we don't intend, because if you don't give it these rules or this direct instruction, uh, ChatGPT may likely uh, edit, may likely edit your work, may likely alter your work, trying to correct some things and restructure the sentence. We don't want all that. We just want strictly in-text citations and references. That's why we we'll give it that express uh, rule. So second is the rule proper. Now, I said strict text preservation. You can see that. Do not paraphrase, summarize, reword, or restructure any sentence or paragraph. Do not add new sentences or explanation. Maintain 100% of the original text as is. Only insert in-text citation. Number two, you can see that. Citation placement logic. Uh, insert in text citation only where they support a claim or argument. Present data of factual evidence. Reference a theory, model, or concept. Compare or contrast scholarly viewpoints. Never insert citation randomly. Only place citations that are contextually justified. You can see. We, don't, we do not just want to generate, we uh, want to make this work as academically viable as possible. So we don't just generate prompts. This is our own prompt 100%. Any prompt you see us use in our videos is made by us, or any prompt you see us sell is made by us 100%. We are into academic consulting, 100%. So, and then we also write software, as I told you about that earlier. So, number three, citation validation requirement. Only insert citations that are 100% variable. All right, so we have more, we have more into that. You can download this uh, programmatic uh, prompt uh, for in-text citations and references in your academic, for your academic writing uh, below the video uh, the, uh, in the video description or comment. Uh, so we move. Uh, I'm going to show you, okay, this is a typical example of a job without, this is a background of study in chapter one, without any form of in-text citation or reference. You can see statement of the problem, uh, purpose of the studies and all that. So for this, as you all know very well, your background of study is supposed to have this, supposed to have this uh, in text citations and references. So we are going to copy this, I'll copy this, okay? And uh, I'm going to take it to ChatGPT. This is ChatGPT, as you all know, I paste it. I'm not going to do any other work. The only work I'm going to do here is to bring in my 
I'll bring in my my prompt so I can copy my prompt okay and then I'll paste it above I'll paste it above Okay, it's pasted. Now I'll have to run it. See what happens. This is modified. Uh, please follow me. Can you see? It's bringing up in text citations already. All right, at the end of the day, it gave me this. Can you see that? It gave me the reference based on what i demanded and this is accurate now for me to ensure accuracy there is something i need to re-emphasize a particular point need to re-emphasize a particular point uh, okay i can re-emphasize this point i wanted to ensure that my reference is gotten from accurate sources and not just those ones generically generated by AI. And then another thing is that I need to cross check, please. You need to cross check your job because AI could be wrong, but with the prompt I'm giving you, it can be as high as 75% correct citations, okay? I pasted that there and then I want to yeah okay I'm just trying to ensure that by re-emphasizing that that this is accurate okay let's wait for it to finish okay good now you see it based on that my re-emphasizing it actually gave me this it says reference verification summary that means it has verified those references and it's giving me the direct link i get him the direct link this is not generic please these are the direct link to the academic sources where the references we gotten from can you see that so can you see that so these are accurate these are accurate if you click the link it will take you there direct thank you